<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Alrighty, there we are. And I just don't know why the game doesn't want to show up anymore. It's a, it's a black screen all the time. That's kind of annoying. Either way, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to uh, the stream of the Chicken Police. For whatever reason, I was going to say Animal House, and I'm like, no, no, not at all. Oh, girl, thank you so much for the host, and welcome to the stream. Hope you've been doing well. Uh, anyway, last time we left off, we were checking out the Czar Club, and good old Ibn Whistler and his uh, assistant slash escort, whoever, uh, is with us now, and we have to question it, Ibn. I'm hoping it's gonna go all right, but knowing my ass, we'll see. Wessler is a tricky guy. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about him, so I have to be cunning. I can't just pin him against a wall yet. All right, so there we go. He's a, he's a tricky guy. We can't, we have to be cunning. So he's tricky. All right, we're gonna try our best here. This literally takes place in a world of Bojack Horseman. <laughs> we were actually talking about that earlier today. Good show, gotta finish it though. How do you feel when you heard, how did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? How did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? Honestly, I found it ridiculous. And now? Now I'm kinda interested, but I wouldn't call it blackmail yet. They're just empty threats. There were no demands. Good point. Thank you. Are we done? No, not quite. I'm sorry to hear that. Man, we just started. And he's also mistrustful. Uh, yeah, I, I started BoJack Horseman like a few months ago. And I got up to season four, but then I stopped. I'm, I have a really bad tendency to not finish the damn show that I'm watching. It's it's terrible for me. All right. So he's tricky and mistrustful. You seem like a very busy man. May I ask what you do? Like, I kind of want to ask him that because I can learn more about him. But I don't know if that's going to work. Cause why, did I, why didn't you call the police? He's mistrustful. He's not going to trust the police. Now we'll go with the first one. You seem a very busy man. May I ask what you do? Eh, it's, uh, uninteresting. Would you elaborate? Eh, I got a small share in the meat substitute business. If the new product works, eh, maybe we can make your job easier. You mean reduce predation in Clawville? There are such plans, uh... If you're interested, talk to Olivia, my assistant. She's an expert in what she does, uh, <laughs> unlike me. Thank you. That's it for now. Okay, I guess I worked a little bit. It's very secretive. Um. Hmm. You still need to catch up with the latest seasons of Lucifer, Dark, and You. Haven't seen any of those, unfortunately. Although I heard they're good, especially Lucifer. How are your alibis? Is this place yours? You're very taciturn, Mr. Wessler. I thought I heard quite the speaker. So this is a BS question because we know it's not his. Your alibis, I feel like we're, gonna, we're trying to pin him against the wall already. So it's like, that's not really great. Let's try this. Compliment him a little bit. You're very taciturn, Mr. Wessler. Though I've heard you're quite the speaker. Look. I'll gladly talk to anyone about business, and even happy to talk about art. But, uh, I'm no fan of interrogation on a night out. Are you even on duty? Sorry for any offense, Mr. Wessler. Let's talk about something else. Wessler is tougher than I thought, and he's secretive. It's time to gently beat around the bush. Oh no, that wasn't good! <laughs> See, that's what I'm worried about. It's like, I want to get full stuff, but... Damn, damn, damn. Gently beat around the bush, huh? Hmm. 
Are you and Natasha close? What do you mean exactly, chicken? Mr. Featherland, if you please. This could be important. How does she stand on the scale from sweetheart to wife? Oh, you have some nerve. Ask her that. I'm a gentleman, Mr. Featherland. Really? Maybe you can't comprehend it, but I can't ask for her hand until she offers it to me herself. How chivalrous. Get to the point, detective. Business going well, Mr. Wessler? Ibn is quick-tempered, and I can use that to my advantage. I've confounded and softened him with my previous questions. Now it's time to be specific and ruthless. Guys, I'm I'm doing bad. <laughs> uh. The mob boss and the pussycat, eh? How did you even meet? Huh? Are you trying to piss me off, Corpora, so I accidentally let some big secret slip out, huh? A simple answer would work. <sighs> you know, Natasha, she's both connoisseur and muse. Uh, uh, so, uh, how was it? Uh, when was it exactly? You don't remember. That's strange. Ah, yeah. The millions, of course. It was like another lifetime. It happened right here. Only this place was called the millions back then. <laughs> She was a dancer. Behind the scenes, I arranged opportunities for her on the big stage. Yeah, maybe she still doesn't know it was me. Then one day, I invited her for a drink with a promise that if she was willing to meet me, I'd buy the place for her. Now I guess she was willing. The next day, she had the club in her name. Well, that is romantic. Yeah, there are many kinds of romance, Birdman. There's cheap, and there's expensive. You get what you can afford. Okay, I mean, I brought it back up a little bit. I mean, the questioning aspect of this game, as much as I'd like to be better at it, it's, it's, it's rough because it's like it all depends on your viewpoints and what, to me, it's kind of subjective. It's like you think this statement won't be bad, but then ends up going a whole nother route, and it's like, ah, oh, damn. So I'm not sure if, like, if there's an easier way to get by this or I'm just a terrible detective, but oh well. Serge, welcome to the stream. This is Chicken Police. It's like a neo-noir uh, detective visual novel point-and-click game. And uh, it's pretty interesting. So there's that. Do you live in the same house as Natasha? Oh, you're really something. Natasha is a free woman, but mostly, yeah, at my place in Gold Town. But she has her own kind of a weekend house. Mm. How often does she use the weekend house? Yeah, every other weekend, roughly. I see. That's very important information. Yeah, if you say so. Okay. So, Natasha feels like she's in grave danger, yet she's still going out alone? Is she completely alone when she's out there in the weekend? Hmm. I don't know. Like, I, I don't feel like any of these are bad, per se. Tricky, mistrustful, secretive, quick-tempered. So, Natasha feels like she's in grave danger, yet she's still going out alone. Yeah, I know what you're getting at. But I'm 100% sure of her loyalty. She's gone out very rarely since this started, and mostly in my company. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if you do, but uh, in our social circles, banquets and dinners are frequent. Hmm, illegal gambling nights. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah, you're right. Natasha is crazy about the roulette wheel. Always putting it all on the red, right? Yeah, you're a real rotten bastard, Sonny. Although, yeah, always on the red. Yeah, right. So, can we meet your lady? Mm, I don't see why not. But first, please, listen to her sing. She's on soon. Uh, oh, I can retry. Hmm. 
I mean, you guys know how I am. Like, I gotta do the best. Hmm. I mean, that wasn't bad. But still. Wessler is a tricky guy. I'm sorry to... Okay. Uh... Oh, shoot. I don't... I think... I don't remember if this is good or not. How, How are this? your alibis, Mr. Wessler? Am I a suspect? <laughs> that was fast. But thank you for asking. That's solid. Just ask Olivia. She can enlighten you in this matter, too. If you're curious. No need. And no, you're not a suspect. Yet. No more than everyone else in Clawville. That's, uh, reassuring. Wessler is tougher than I thought. Okay, good, good. Um... So I do apologize. It looked like there was a bit of frame drops there. <laughs> it happens sometimes, in, in, depending on the time of day. So let's hope to God... It holds steady again. Uh, so that was good. Let's see, this one wasn't good. Asking if they were close. Um, I'm, I'm going between these two. Like, were there any similar incidents? Or do you spend a lot of your time here? He's secretive, though. But it's like, I feel like Ed, both of these would be kind of secretive. Let's go for do you spend a lot of your time here. Do you spend a lot of your time here? It's a strange question, you know. Humor Subscription! Me. Of course I spend a lot of time here. I'm here every time Natasha performs. Sadly, yeah, it's getting rarer. Is it compatible with your other businesses? Huh? What? Writing threatening messages and hiding them? I didn't say that. You're sly for a frowl, Fiddleyand. But this ain't your territory, is it? I guess not, Mr. Wessler. That didn't so that that worked. That didn't sound like it worked. Um, but Link, thank you so much for the sub. I definitely do appreciate it. <laughs> Hope you're having a wonderful day today, buddy. All right, is everything all right between you and Natasha? Business going well? Start talking straight, Wesley. There's no point in wasting each other's time. I don't know if I want to dig deep now, right now. Hmm. I feel like he's going to take offense if I ask if everything's all right between them two, but my gut's are telling me I should do this. Is everything all right between you and Natasha? Yeah, you don't beat around the bush, do you? Hmm. Understandable, I guess. Naturally, our relationship is stable and perfect. I'm the setting, she's the gemstone. Yeah, if you know what I mean. I rarely hear such poetry, but uh, I understand exactly what you mean, Mr. Wessler. So, you have your answer. No recent friction? Hm. Wouldn't you like to know? It would make my job easier. Yeah, it would only lead you astray. So be glad that I tell you no. No friction. Ibn is quick tempered. I mean, it still worked a little bit. Um, I don't, did this one work? Saying like the mob boss and a pussycat? I, I think, I thought I dropped it down. If I'm mistaken, I can't remember now. Let's go over the first one. Have there been similar threats in the past? Right to the point, yeah? Yeah, I get it. But sadly, this is a dead end, my friend. No, no threats like these. Uh, whether you believe it or not. Well... It really seems like a dead end, so I'll just back up and try from a different angle. You do that. No, no, no. Oh, shoot. Maybe I did, maybe it was this bottom one. The mob. Huh? Uh, you don't. Uh, uh, no, I, the next. Well. Yeah. yeah, it was the bottom one. My bad. Dragon, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? You spend most of your day choosing to sleep to avoid admitting I'm probably sick. Oh, I hope you do feel better. I hope you do get some rest. Do you live? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I believe this so one works. 
Much better. Living legend. I did it. It's a perfect job. Exactly how you, you would have done 10 years ago. Beware Clawville, Sunny Featherland, and the Chicken Police are back in action. So, important clue is that Ibn's trying very hard to change the subject when it comes to threats. He obviously knows more than he's willing to tell. Thank you for your time. We'll be seeing you. I have no doubt about that, unfortunately. Hey, uh, we should, uh, grab a coffee or something, Olivia. You know, for old time's sake. Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. Goodbye. Oh. Please, take a seat. The show's gonna start soon. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, Sonny, I think he's in love. Whoa. Even I wasn't expecting that. Wow. I don't know how to feel right now. Okay, Sonny is entranced. I mean, she has a beautiful voice. Not gonna lie there. That was, um, unique. Oh, that is cute. Nobody has ever given me such a unique compliment before. Uh, forgive me, my name is Santino Featherland. <laughs> I thought so. You look more or less like I imagined. More or less? Sometimes less is more, Mr. Featherland. Ahem. You were amazing, dear. As always. Could you be my little furball and fetch me a cocktail? But of course. Ibn will be back soon. We'll have a few minutes to talk. Then he'll end the conversation and throw you both out. <laughs> With all due respect, ma'am, we're not that easy to get rid of. Doesn't matter who's trying, believe me. <sighs> Doesn't matter, he'll do it. That's why I'm telling you. I don't want a scene. <laughs> My room's upstairs. Meet me there in 20 minutes. Come alone, Sonny. You'd be too conspicuous otherwise. Hey, I understand. You know, they call him Target Marty at the station. I don't have time, Mr. Featherland. Oh, sure thing, Natasha. I'll come to your room. Three knocks, a short pause, then another three. I'll be waiting. Go, before he comes back. I knew she was trouble the first time I saw her. She wore danger like a perfume. It was simply part of her being, and it attracted me like light attracts the moth people. I wanted to be the microphone as she whispers her melodies. Or the pillow she rests her feet on while reading some cheap romance. Calm down, I Sonny. I wanted to be her nightdress, barely touching, barely covering her marble skin. You're a horny but cock, aren't you? I was a cop. And a lifetime wouldn't be enough to rid myself of what a woman like her hides under her makeup. Keep your distance, Sonny. Just keep your distance. Think with your head, Sonny. The right one, Sonny. We'll get through this. This better not awaken anything new in me. 
Chewy, welcome to the stream as well. How are you doing today, buddy? Nice to see you. You, you sure you were not in Transparent Swaying Booty? Not really, because the tail kind of... kind of took away that aspect. I'm like, eh, it's a, it's a damn tail. But no, the, the voice is definitely... You know, the singing voice, definitely you know, very nice. Heh, <laughs> she said cock. Tail? She didn't, have, she didn't have a pause, but she did say that. <laughs> he is a cock for a reason. You're right, Link. The thirst is real for this guy. Yes, very much so. I think he's thinking with his hog, as Vinny would say. <laughs> That's all he's thinking about. Ah, uh, you're doing all right. Okay, I hear you, Chewy. Glad to have you here, buddy. Oh. oh, hold on. I forgot. I'm almost in that queue for the PlayStation 5. Let's see how it's going. Uh, <laughs> more than an hour. I'm probably not going to get it, but I figured I might as well try. All right. So, ooh, look at that painting, though. Book, the seventh rule of predation. Uh, what else have we got here? Chandelier, mirror. I can leave if I want. Now, see that. That, that, that is a, a really mixed feeling going on there. It, it, it's really insane how they got the blending properly in here, like from the human body to the cat head. And then the booties being hidden by the tail. Damn tail got away. But, uh, all right. Gee, that is a uh, unique picture and kind of daring. I admit, I've never seen anything <laughs> quite like it before. Yes, I admit it's a little daring. I keep it. It evokes good memories. A precious old friend of mine. A most wonderful artist. He's got an eye, that's for sure, considering his model. Was that supposed to be some kind of compliment? I don't know. I don't compliment often. Not on purpose, anyway. Oh, you're funny. I'm also a little cocky, huh? <laughs> All right, that was bad. This woman's aware of her charm, and she knows how to use it. A rare and dangerous combination. This woman... I figured I'd give it a try. I knew it was a bad joke. You got a beautiful place here, Natasha. A peaceful little island on the ocean of madness with very classy furniture. Ibn likes me surrounded by elegant things, you know? You're an elegant thing yourself, sweetheart. Oh, that's charming. Thank you, detective. She, you think she's maybe the main villain? I mean... According to other games we played, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, she's she's giving off the femme fatale vibe perfectly, so you never know. What I do love is, like, her eyes are the only color in this game, and that's amazing. Obviously, that's the point. It just looks amazing. Light is the brother of darkness. More like its lover, don't you think? Anyway, I thought I hired a detective, not a poet. I'm not a poet, Natasha. Just a fool. Oh, what an act. You like her dress sparkles? It is nice. Light. More. Uh, oh. I bet you spend a lot of your time staring into the mirror. Do you even recognize yourself? Maybe you were trying to be rude, but, you know, that's a very good question. I was just trying to be rude. Oh, 
Really? Well, then I'm sorry. Don't mention it. The hell is that all about, Sonny? So this is where the magic happens, right? The big transformation. Every woman needs a little magic. And every man needs some illusion. You're right there, Angel. So this is where the... You're right. All right. I don't think there's really anything else we can... Uh look in here besides talking to her we could exit i don't know why the hell i want to do that so this woman's aware of her charm and she knows how to how do you like your bourbon mr featherland in a glass but thanks i had a couple before i came i feel like this may be a long night i hope it doesn't bother you if i have one myself i get offended if women don't drink in my company Oh, you are a funny guy. So I've been told. Anyway, uh, lovely room. Yes. Look, Mr. Featherland. It's Sonny. Saves us a lot of time. Okay, Sonny. So, why am I here? You know, men tend to babble in my presence. It must be exhausting. It is. But you're not the type to beat around the bush. Is it too banal if I tell you it's an occupational hazard? Terribly. So can I start the unpleasant questions? I've asked you here so you can do what you do best. Really? I thought you asked because you wanted me to investigate for you. But if you'd rather be drinking... Oh, you do have a sense of humor. How reassuring. Only if I'm a bit hungover. That's usually quite common. Oh, please drop the act about being the alcoholic, heartbroken ex-cop, Sonny. It would undoubtedly suit you, but um, I've seen you scanning my room. From the second you set foot in here, you started working, and everything I say gets sorted in your brain. Am I right? That's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it's something like that. Well then, Sonny... Come at me. Oh, that's something I don't hear often. With pleasure. Don't mind if I do! <laughs> I'm sure that's what Sonny's thinking. Oh, there's more questioning we gotta do with her. Alright, so here's hoping that I do that 100%. Uh, she's trying very hard to change the subject when it comes to threats. Oh, never mind. We saw this one. Dobson knows more. Um. He didn't have anything else. He's currently busy with some kind of meat substitute business. That's what he he insisted he told us anyway. He was acting quite strange, and he yesterday when I mentioned how he met Natasha, it would be in interesting to hear that story from another point of view. He's in! He's in, boys! Uh, where is Natasha? There she is. The employer, Deborah Ibanez. Currently, girlfriend of uh, Ibn Wessler. She owns a bizarre club. She was a singing sensation of the millions and later became the owner under Ibn's patronage. Not much is known of her past before this, though. She is a mysterious woman indeed and seems dangerous too. But she's undoubtedly in serious trouble. The question is is she the source of the problem or is it someone else? Talker. Seriously, how did you find me? Not even my boss knows where I live. Although I didn't include Ibn in my little private mission, some of his resources were still available to me. Yeah, let me guess. There's someone at the station working for him. Someone? You're so cute when you're playing naive. Have you ever had dealings with the police? Not in this city. And otherwise? Does it really matter, Mr. Featherland? Maybe it does. More than a little. I'm afraid you'll have to unravel that thread yourself. 
but you will find nothing but a dead end. This woman. All right, let's get the questioning underway. Natasha is a confident woman. I can exploit that, but I must be careful. Every part of her oozes danger. Ah, oh, but you like that, Sonny, don't you? All right, I'm gonna try my best here. Um, I gotta remember what I pick and what I don't, so we can. I mean, what's nice is we, I can always retry and get the best score later. So I apologize if I do that a bunch of times, but let's just try our best now. That was a remarkable performance. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Do you perform here frequently? You're also the owner, if I'm not mistaken. Sadly, I don't have the time, but the stage still calls my name, and I perform just a few times a year, and always with a new song. So that was all the excitement. I have many admirers, if that's what you mean. Yes. When Sonny looks at us, I crack up. His head is just so small and thin. Yeah, when he, it, it is it is weird when they look directly at the camera or like at us. It just looks odd, at least for him. It looks like somebody smushed him with a damn like a uh, meat uh, pallet thing. Uh, all right. Let's see, this place is very elegant, and so is your room. The picture on the wall is quite daring. The picture on the wall is quite daring. Only if you knew how old I was at the time. I think I'm on a slippery slope here. Come on, don't be shy. Ask me. All right. How old were you? <laughs> <clears throat> Did you really believe I'd tell you? You're quite a player, aren't you? Life is anything but a game, detective. Well, you tell me. I mean, it works. All right, Poe girl. Hmm. Do you think one of your admirers might be behind the threats? Those who admire me usually idolize me. No, I don't think it's one of them. You know, the soul of an animal is extremely complicated. Sometimes all it takes is a bad look or some small rejection to turn admiration into hate. That's a stillborn theory. No one hates me if they once loved me, Mr. Detective. Ah, I see. Okay, now we're getting cold. This whole case stinks. What are you trying to make me do? Why Deborah? She's a nice girl, but why didn't she come to me? Do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? Hmm. I mean, I want to go for the third one here, but is she really going to give me any of this information I need? I don't know. I kind of want to ask about Deborah, though. Why Deborah? She's a nice girl, but why didn't you come to me? Didn't you ask her the same thing already? I did, but I like to hear it from all sides. Mm, well, since this whole thing started, I admit I'm not too keen on leaving my home. When I do, it's only with an escort. Ibn Wessler has nothing to do with this? Ibn has everything to do with me. Almost everything. But I didn't want to upset him with this. He thinks I'm overreacting. Deep behind the diamond skin lies the truth. It doesn't matter how hard Natasha's trying to hide it. She's scared. Now I must concentrate to finally find out what I want to know. Okay. What was in those threats exactly? The message itself is not a threat. It's just a word. But a word again and again is threatening. Exactly. So? You really don't have any idea? Which word could be used for a woman like me? 
I guess I do. Yes, I think I know what it could be. Whore. <clears throat> Cat got your tongue? Am I right? You heard it. I said what you were thinking. And yes, that was in the message. That was printed on the paper and painted on my wall. In giant red letters. Well, thank you for your honesty. Okay. Odd, though. Who the hell called her a whore? Hmm. So, could the threats have anything to do with the dangerous relationship between you? No one's ever seen a culprit, not even a shadow. I suggest you lie low. What about Philmar? Is he here because of you? I don't, I'm not really sure I want to bring Philmar into this. I'm not. I don't even know if she's aware of him. Hmm. I'm not really sure what the hell to pick next here. Cause like suggesting to lie low. I don't know if that's really gonna be her take. Um. And I'm assuming nobody's seen the call, but I think it's a stupid question. Because I mean, why will she hire us then? Let's try the first one. Could the threats have anything to do with the dangerous relationship between you? You mean I'm a cat and he's a rat? Every interracial relationship has risk. But yes, this one's more conspicuous than most. Clawville's a very open and free city, but I guess you see more radical transgressions than I do. One of the most common causes in homicidal and predatory cases, ma'am. So, yes. Well, I don't know about that. Nobody ever questioned our relationship openly. We are what we are. And you know, if you're interested in my personal feelings, danger fills our relationship with a flavor no other can replace. It must be one interesting relationship, that's for sure. Now, I'm not sure I can feel the same, but I can certainly understand it. Maybe one day you'll experience it, Sonny. Have you ever been with a predator before? Well... Well... That's unsteady ground, Natasha. Let's turn the questioning around, if you don't mind. <laughs> As you wish, Sonny. There's some kinky-ass shit going on here, huh? I mean, it's like, uh, you know, they, you want know, to say, like, yeah, you, you know, <laughs> you know what, never mind. I'm not going to say what I'm going to say. It's, everything's going to turn out bad. How many fools like me have you used up, Natasha? How many fools like me have you used up, Natasha? In all my life? Well... I just forget it. I don't want to know. Curiosity killed the cat. And no pun intended. <laughs> I'm just joking. You're not a fool, Sonny. I know that was supposed to be a kind of insult, but it usually rolls right off me. I can't take cock-a-doodling, so you can put aside the strutting stuff while you're talking to me. Fair point. Broadcast received, ma'am. Natasha is a mysterious woman, but I must gouge out at least one of her secrets. Enough games. It's time to know why I'm here. Oof! Oof! What happened? That was the only choice I had. Why the hell did I drop 60? That's terrible. Let's stop beating about the bush. How do you know Molly? I'm prepared for that question, but it's still not easy. You knew very well that if you threw in the name of my wife, I'd come to you no matter how vague and suspicious the case was. I just want to know if you're simply a manipulator or you're really that desperate. I really know her. I'm not lying. Oh, really? How? Were you a nurse, too? Forgive me, but I don't think so. Don't be rude and so cynical, Sonny. I'm sorry, but that's me when feline claws are at my throat. Molly is an old and good friend of mine. She has nothing to do with this, but I knew that if I didn't mention it to you, you wouldn't have come. 
Yeah, Natasha, you're right there. I knew you were a decent foul, that you would help me. That's what you're famous for. Don't go there. Flattery doesn't work. Look, forgive me. I shouldn't have brought your wife into this. You're right, you shouldn't have. But to be honest, I don't think she's my wife anymore. On paper she is, but I haven't seen her in years. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Really? I did. I knew I checked you out before I sent Deborah. Pluck me. This case is getting more and more intriguing. Back, we're just back where the hell we started. And yeah, I'm thinking it was intentional as well. It just sucks because I don't know if it's going to have like a final impact on our score there. You played me from the start, didn't you? It wasn't my intention. I'm an old cock, Natasha. I've played too many of these games, and I've been on the losing side often enough. So, you're going to walk away? You're damn right. I don't know if it's worth it for me. Look, Sonny, money's not an issue. Oh yeah, your fawn had already mentioned that. But unfortunately, it'll be hard to spend all that dough when I'm dead. Dead? Don't even say that. Do you have a gun? Me? Of course you, Natasha. Do you have it on you? Not at the moment. Well, let me give you some advice. Keep it with you, always. Maybe in your purse. You, you don't think they, whoever they are, would hurt me? Don't be naive, Natasha. You're right. I'll keep it with me. I don't want to scare you, but two cops snooping around can mess something like this up, even if it's just two roosters. You'll keep snooping? Thank you, Sonny. Maybe you're getting yourself into even deeper trouble with me. Thank me when this is all over. Ah, oh, damn it. What the hell can I do to raise that rank? It's like I totally just got demolished there. I'm going to have to retry it. There must be a way to get this 100%. Alrighty, Dragon, you enjoy your Smash practice. Talk to you later. Hmm. The threat, or rather the threatening word in the message is something Natasha is simply whore. It's brief, but says a lot regardless. Welcome back, Justin. Uh, there's no banging happening just yet, so don't worry. You didn't miss anything. Um, maybe there are... Plus 10 questions where you got plus five. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what I'm thinking, Zagor. Like, I'm just not sure which one's better. Uh, well, let's try Natasha. again. That was I'm deep. So that I have many. Um, so let's try the place is very elegant. The place is very elegant, and uh, so is your room. Why, thank you. I kind of feel like I'm in a museum. Well, that depends on the kind of museum. The kind with nice things. Oh. Suspiciously nice things, just like you. Do you think I'm suspicious? We'll see about that. Try me. Okay, that really worked. Um, so the room. Uh, let's talk about Ibn. I'm not really sure this is going to work. What can you tell me about Ibn Wessler? You should be more specific. What do you want to know? Ah, shoot. Okay. I did bring me down five, but these are different questions. Um, you know, they didn't really talk about... He didn't mention how they met... So we kind of good to know how they met. How did you meet Ibn, if I'm not too intrusive? Of course you're intrusive, but I guess that's an occupational hazard. <laughs> well, yes. I was a dancer here in the club, in Anita Jenkins' chorus. When she was in a good mood and allowed it, sometimes I even did her vocals for her, although she thought I was an upstart little whore. 
Wait, she thought she was. She thought you were a whore. It's Anita then. Um. How does Ibn treat you nowadays? Like a prince treats a princess. Maybe that sounds like a cliche. A little. He holds me in the hollow of his hand. He always has. He's never hurt me. He couldn't. Recently, he's been a bit distracted and nervous, but there's heavy weight on his shoulders right now. That's why I didn't want to burden him with any of this. Okay. Distant and nervous. Could you elaborate? Ibn is devoted and attentive. He sends someone every hour to ask me if everything's all right. But I can't even remember a time when we were together. Just the two of us. Recently, he spends a lot of time here and in other clubs. When he's with me, he's nervous and preoccupied. Why is that? Don't you think it's strange? I don't think it has anything to do with the threats. It started earlier. Any ideas about a cause? None. Maybe it's stress. Ibn's working on doing more and more of business legally. That's kind of hard for someone like him. Is he trying to get himself out of the underworld? Maybe. That's interesting. Thank you. Deep behind the diamond skin. All right, that did pretty nice, I think, over there. Uh, I do apologize. It looks like it's, uh, there's some congestion going on on my internet, so there's going to be... Looks like I'm dropping frames a little bit, but that's okay, because I will be ending this very soon. So uh, I think we're doing better, but isn't this what caused me to go to negative 60? What was in the... The mist. So you I hope no. no, never mind. Okay. Um. Man, I picked this one. The second one. I think that worked. I think I'm doing better now. Could the... You ever... One of them... Well, it must... Maybe... What? what? That's... <laughs> How many? In, uh, uh, fair point. No, see, that's the one that just, bam, brings me down to 60. I'm still above the thing here, so that's fine, but still kind of hurts. So. Let's. I'm. You, I. Oh, don't. I. I'm, yeah. I. Don't, look. You're I'm. Re, uh, lock me. Okay. Um. I don't I don't know if the second one's gonna work here. Let me just try this again, the first one. You don't. I don't you maybe Really? With even more questions asked, my focus accuracy still is at sixty. Well, ain't that some booty? Now what do I do? Alright, time to speed run this thing. Come on, frame frame rates. We're gonna have to do better than that. It's like at zero. I don't even know if you guys can even see this. Ugh. I don't know why it always happens. Like, for the majority of the stream, I'm fine! And then... Out of nowhere. Nope. Oh well. At least you guys have seen this already, so I guess it doesn't matter if it gets a little choppy. Um, now. What can you use? I want to learn, learn more about him. How did How they meet him? That was, that was quite a bit there. Um. Let's try the second one here. Don't you see a correlation between your partner's activity and the threats? That's a disappointing cop-like question. I am a cop. Yes, but you're different. 
You're too rough on the outside and too vulnerable on the inside for a regular cop. Am I that transparent? A little bit. My eyesight's better than most. Seriously, Natasha, don't you worry about the possibility of a connection? Of course I worry about it. I'm not stupid. Those who are clever learn to fear. I learned at a young age, before I even had the chance to live. Gee, well, thank you for your honesty. Deep behind the diamond skin. That worked, I what guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what else seems to be done here. I could have sworn asking the one about the relationship was what was what was good. But now I'm starting to think maybe I should try this one about Philmar. What about Philmar? Is he here because of you? Mr. Lowe helped me before, and yes, he was the first I approached. You've managed to curb my enthusiasm a little. Doesn't keeping two irons in the fire give me a better chance? But you don't have to worry. He didn't find anything. And he's not interested anymore. No matter how much I offer to pay him. Why? You'll have to ask him. I think I'll do that. Okay, that actually kind of helped out. This is actually new here. A dark shadow from the past, an ex-lover, a husband maybe. So it's not a fan and not an inside job. Who do you suspect? Hmm. A dark shadow from the past, an ex-lover, a husband maybe. I'm surprised you asked that just now. Well, I have my habits. Some call my methods peculiar. What a curious way to put it. I'm a curious kind of fellow. So? I've never been married, and I don't really have any serious relationship before Hobart. A more dangerous, not serious relationship, maybe? I've never been with anyone long enough for them to hate me. Love is just another face of hate. So is hate a face of love, then? I guess. Were you on the run? No, Mr. Featherland. I came to Clawville with a clean slate, and I'd like to believe it will stay that way. You mean as the girlfriend of Ibn Wessler, the biggest mob boss in Clawville? Yeah, good luck with that. Natasha is a mysterious woman, but I must gouge... All right. I think we're making progress. I think he worded this question differently. Let's stop beating about the bush. How do you know Molly? I'm prepared for that question, buddy. You knew. I really know. Oh, re don't. Uh, Never mind. I, look, you're I'm so really. Uh, luck me. Okay, actually, I think we're doing a lot better now. Because I think this is the last question. You. I, you oh, the. Of course. Well, let, you don't. I don't want. You. Maybe you. Woo! Okay. Yeah, somehow I avoided that negative 60 points question, even though. I'm not sure. I, I talked about Philmar, and that talked about, like, how, like, do you have any other suspects or any, like, pasts we need to know about? So, there we go. I mean, that's what I like about this, is, like, even if you. You think the question is going crappy? You can always retry it. I totally forgot you could retry. Um, so yeah, good, 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 good. And it's kind of a good thing I'm gonna be ending the stream soon because dear God, these frame rates are being stupid. Ugh. Just one more thing, Sonny. Natasha. Please come to 37 Rochester Street in Flower Town. Tonight, I'd like to show you something that could be of a great help in your investigation. I was afraid this was coming. Why there? Why not here and now? It's something I keep hidden there. 
I won't take the risk of Ibn or one of his men seeing it. Isn't Ibn too dangerous to keep secrets from? Sunny, a woman is naked without her secrets. Hmm. I knew you would understand. Oh yeah, I understand everything. So, when do we meet? The night is almost over. I'll be there in an hour. Don't be early, and don't be too late. Look, Natasha, you know... Please, this is very important to me. Sure, I get it. I'll be there. Thank you. Until later, Natasha. Goodbye, Sonny. Goodbye. She's afraid and her fear is genuine, but she doesn't tell me everything regardless, and I don't like it. Natasha has invited me to her weekend house to show me something. In, other wor in, in any other situation, I would be glad about it, but in this case, I'm worried. The threat, or rather threatening word in a message sent to Natasha is simply whore. It's brief, but says a lot regardless. good we do know that there's gonna be five more questioning things in the game but even then there's still quite a bit to go here like there's a, there's lots of scenes to visit good amount of achievements codex entries personal information gallery entries like there's still a lot to do um, we're gonna try our best doing what we can and she also gave me her key yeah hmm Mm. Mm. Do you have a light, Natasha? I'm sorry. I've never smoked. Really? That's very uncommon in your line of work. It was uncommon in all my previous lines of work, too. But I promise that next time we meet, I'll bring you a box of matches. <laughs> I might take you up on that. <laughs> no trouble at all. Hey, we get some matches. Do you have a lot? <laughs> well, good talk. Why did you name it the Czar Club when you took over? It was the millions before. Maybe you can guess my origins from my name and my accent. I come from the Eastern Tsardom of Slavonia. We are quite respectful of our leaders. Do you feel that's not the case here in Clawville? Here? No. Absolutely not, Mr. Featherland. Many here don't even know the name of their king. To them, he's only the Fox King. It's quite disrespectful and rude. There's some truth to that. Where I'm from, we choose our leaders ourselves. And whatever they do later, we proudly stand by our decision. So that's why the name, in respect to your country. <sighs> Don't take me for so sentimental. It's only partly the reason. We lived there until I was 14. Then we, we had to flee. It doesn't matter why. In the end, I was the only one who made it to Clawville. So the name isn't because of nostalgia or respect. More like... A reminder. Well, that's interesting. I, I assume that the king in this town was a, a, a lion. He has to say king in the jungle or something, but that's the fox king. All right. So, why, Deborah? I could not seek you out in person. It was risky even to send Debbie. It's too late now. Mr. Wessler is aware of my little investigation. I'm sorry I got her mixed up in this. She's a lovely girl. She looked like one. May I be brash? It's New Year's Eve. Everything goes tonight. Ibn, do you love him? In my own way, yes, I do. 
Whatever that means. You can't understand this, Sonny. There are women who can't actually love. Not like they're supposed to. But that doesn't mean they don't love however they can. That's not a real answer, is it? <laughs> if you only accept yes or no, then yes, I love him. That was an actual achievement. Okay. So this message... I'm sorry I had to upset you, Sonny. But if I didn't take that step, would we be talking here right now? Oh, probably I'd be dead drunk and counting sheep men in my dreams. I'm good for you, you see? Yeah. You're a real angel. Why just me? What's wrong with my partner? Nothing in the world. I just like to be discreet. I wanted to talk to you in private because of... Uh, Molly. Uh, well, uh, thank you for your discretion. It, uh, it means a lot. Don't mention it. So, who's this Olivia bird? I know well what you're curious about. You want to know if she's sleeping with Ibn. The thought may have crossed my mind. You men. But guess what? Maybe she does. You don't care? As long as he loves me, I don't. Well, that's your business. What do you know about her? She's not the one threatening me. You can be sure of that. I know that was your next thought. The lovesick assistant is jealous of the boss's girlfriend and wants to flick her out of the picture. It would even stand up, but Olivia doesn't have feelings. If she let Ibn sleep with her, it's because she does what he says, nothing more. It was so honest and raw, I'm inclined to believe it. Man, but how the hell is that a healthier relationship whatsoever? Like, oh yeah, sure, it's like as long as he loves me, I don't care if he sleeps around with other women. The hell? Do you have a I, really well, was I guess that's everything <laughs> I can do here. I've asked for everything here. This woman. And the, I guess that's that. I did get a couple new um things regarding Olivia and Natasha. According to Natasha, Olivia, Olivia, excuse me, is uh, perfectly devoid of emotion, which precludes her from standing behind the threats. Uh, that doesn't mean she's not Ibn's lover. Um, right. It's she is very, I would say, distant. I want to know what's up with Olivia and Marty, though, because it's like he seems to know who who the hell she is. She came from north, north, northern Zardom of Slavonia, from where her family had to flee. Later, when Natasha reached the city of Plavil, she was already an orphan. We got a bunch of new codex entries. Uh, or maybe just two, never mind. Slavonia. It's the bleak world of proud Slavonians, mostly inhabited by predators and big cats. Uh, the political situation between Clawville and Slavonia is quite tense and delicate, for both historical and commercial reasons. The Slavonian Zardom was the biggest loser of the meat war, and but most animals have been considering them the potential trigger of the second meat war and the biggest threat looming over the modern world. Man. We got Hector III, who is the Fox King. Hector III, or as most, an or as most animals call him, the Fox King, is the third member of the... Falio dynasty? Falio A, whatever. Although Clawville is a small state, its king is amongst the most influential animals of the wilderness. Not because of the city's actual importance, but for riches of its far faraway colonies. I mean, I, I think it would be kind of easy to suspect Olivia, but I, I still don't know. I feel she may have a bigger role, but I feel that'd still be too easy, kind of like what she said. Like, oh, it's the assistant, blah, blah. It's, it's almost cliche, you know? All right. Well, weren't you supposed to be waiting in the car? 
I was bored to tears, Sonny. I also thought maybe something happened to you. You thought Natasha had eaten me alive, huh? Well, who knows? You're such a fragile little thing. I'm too old for this, Marty. Then next time, leave the dangerous predators to me. I didn't mean that, Marty. I meant you. Oh. Ugh. So what actually is there to do now? Oh, wait, sorry, we gotta talk to Fillmore. We gotta talk to him after we're done here. Uh, is Ibn still here? No, he's not. Huh. I can speak to the henchman. What a lovely... Excuse me, pal. My name is Santino Featherland. Eh? Gabriel, what do you want, chickens? Do you happen to know where Mr. Wessler went? Do you take me for a fool? Get out of here while I'm in a good mood, birds. Okay. Thanks, big boy. Hey, <laughs> big head. Uh... Hey, that's the thing, but I don't suspect her for the reasons you think. She just seems suspicious, that's all. I, I, I get where you're coming from. We'll, we'll see what happens. Never know. Listen, pal. Uh, maybe if... Uh... Did I stutter, chicken? Get lost. Listen, pal. Did I stutter... Wessler's secretary, Olivia Blackwig. You think she knows anything useful? It's worth a try, Marty, but let me do the talking. She's not very fond of you. Eee, what can I say? You know, back in the day, I flew from tree to tree. I was a free bird. Maybe I was playing her a bit. Oh, so Marty's a scumbag. Great. Oh, it's you. How can I help you, gentlemen? Look, we really don't want to dig into your personal life, but... But what exactly is my relationship with Mr. Wessler? And how close am I to him? You don't beat around the bush, ma'am. Well, actually, I remember. I don't have time to chit-chat, Mr. Featherland. So yes, I'm not one to beat around the bush. And no, I'm not sleeping with Mr. Wessler. <laughs> well, thanks for the uh, quick and straight answer. Anything else? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I can apparently talk to you about. Look, uh, Olivia, you know, last time... Please, Marty, there's no need. Yes, there is. I know I wasn't a gentleman, and I know I should have called you, but I was young and... You don't have to explain. I wasn't waiting long for your call. I forgot about it fast. That's good to hear, I suppose. Well, damn. I'm sorry we disturbed you. Not at all. Have a nice evening, gentlemen. Oh, no, we're not done. There's still questions I gotta I'm ask you. Not at all. Do you come here often, Olivia? No, not really. Well, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. You know, Ibn's not as ferocious as you'd think. On the contrary, he's become very different recently. I heard. Don't you find that weird? A sudden change of heart? Sometimes an animal just has enough. Fed up and wants a change. I deeply respect that. Well, thank you for your honesty, ma'am. What's your relationship with Miss Natasha Katsenko? We've talked a bit. That's all. There's no uh, tension between you? You know, the pretty secretary. Well, thank you for your compliment, Mr. Featherland. No, no tension. Natasha's an intelligent woman. I respect her. Is that mutual? That I can't tell. If I'm not mistaken, Natasha has a weekend house in Flowerville. Yeah, that's right. Can you tell me anything about it? I've never been there. Allegedly, it's beautiful. Elegant and luxurious. Just like Natasha herself. Okay. Um, Marty needs to be clean to find a new woman. I mean, no, he is with somebody I could have sworn. Lucille, I believe her name is. I could be wrong. I'm not at all. 
So, okay, I think we're done with Olivia. Actually gave some new information there about the people, including, uh, where is he at? Gabriel. Gabriel the Grinder Antipov. He's a Lynx. Hey! Just like the main bad guy, Chrono Cross. He uh, is quiet and deadly. He's most likely from Stylvania. His Bobcat is most likely Ibn Wessler's goon. And I think we open some for Olivia? Uh, according to... Actually, hold on a minute. Olivia is currently an escort? No, no, no. According to Natasha, Olivia is perfectly devoid of motion. We just said that one. Marty dated Olivia for a short period of time. That's it. I don't, I don't want to know more about this. <laughs> That's great. Um, okay. Let's do a final thing here. Hey! I just, it's just weird that they're just not together now. They were next. They were staying next to each other. Not anymore. Remember that other case? What you're an idiot. Nothing new here. Ah, this is the <laughs> Nope. Creepy little squirrel girl. Laura. Okay. Don't be shy, son. Still talking. Hey, big nose. Where did Mr. Wessler go? Unfortunately, I don't know, Big Faith, but I wouldn't tell you even if I did. Really? Say, did anyone ever tell you that you're an irritating piece of sh- <clears throat> Ugh, anything else, dear sirs? I mean, I'm on the side of the horse this round. I mean, Sonny and Marty are being dicks to him. I mean, like, well, I don't get it. You know, like... <sighs> Have a good night, long face. <laughs> anyway, hello, Philmar. Isn't that Philmar? Uh, you're right. So, have you talked to Natasha? In fact, yes. She was uh, kind of mysterious. I bet she was. You know, I've never abandoned a case before. Not voluntarily, anyway. But that woman... You're, uh, too old for this shit, huh? <laughs> as you say, pal. That's exactly how I felt, too. Before you leave, take this and examine it closely. What is it? The reason I've decided all of this is not worth it for me. Wow, that sounds encouraging. Take care of yourselves, guys. This case, maybe it goes deeper than you'd think. Oh, that makes my feathers stand on end. Ah, old croakers. You're safe while I'm here. Okay, okay, I didn't say anything. Okay, but... Well, let's take a look. Wait, what'd he give me? This? We stepped into it, didn't we? What is that? I see... I see a bunch of names and I see a bunch of numbers to the right of it. I don't know what the hell those numbers could be. Social security numbers... Uh, passwords to something... Unfortunately, because it's blinking, I can't read it. Hold on. Gabriel Holloway, Arthur Antler, or something, Adler, Dr. something, <gasps> Hamtaro, the fourth, the fourth name down, I believe, says Hamtaro, that's the Attorney General, Peter Abbott, Samuel something, Dexter, Lovecraft, Augustus Bishop, Something H Seed, Gillian H Seed, Thomas, whoever, uh, Lute Lieutenant Basil? Don't we? Hmm, wait a minute. I think it's Lieutenant something. Um, 
something, something McBride, another doctor in the bottom there. It could be account information. I don't know. That's really interesting, though. Of all that's furry, what kind of a list is this? Exactly. I have no idea, but I don't even want to find out. Those names, all top dogs. Maybe they play cards together. Sure, that's very likely. Anyway, I pried this list out of a dead man's hand. Somebody dropped him outside the forest, a few miles from the Wessler residence. I should have known she was keeping secrets. Keeping secrets? She's the secret herself. Thanks, Filmar. This could be important. Ah, uh, don't thank me. Maybe I've just signed your death warrant. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, oh, shut up, Marty. New location finally opened up. All right, let's take a look at this clue, though. I only recognize a few names on the list Philmar shoved into my hand, but all of them belong to a respected elite of Clawville. It could be a wedding roster, but I doubt that's the case. Yeah, right. The list of all those imposing names must have something to do with Natasha and thus the threats, too. I mean, it does make sense, right? Here's her weekend house. Natasha Kanzenko's weekend house. It stands in a cleanly, cleanest and most separated quarter of the city, in Flowerville. I'm curious about what she's hiding there. Alright. Now let's go ahead and talk to Phil Marr because there's a little bit more to, to do. Take care of yourself, old bird. You're one to talk. Take care. The truth is, Ibn's a dirty bastard, but he's likable. It must be his charisma that snared Natasha. Maybe there's more to it than simple wild love. Hmm, who knows? Animals commit the dirtiest of deeds for wild love. Hmm, you've got a point. We stepped into it, didn't we? That's an understatement. All of these names... Belong to the upper crust. Yeah, I noticed. It's only some sex cult, if you're lucky. Hmm. Don't even go there, Marty. Yeah, all right. Wonderful girl. Either I'm gonna kill her or I'm beginning to like her. That's funny. I swear I've heard that before. Huh. To be honest, me too. So, Natasha invited us to her weekend house. That's either very good news or very bad news. 50%. That's not that bad, is it? That's an admirable attitude. Attitude, yeah, he's got that. Most of the time, I think that's all he's got. Hey! Who is this woman, anyway? She's like Ibn Shadow. Nobody knows anything about her. I don't know if she has anything to do with the case, but it's worth keeping an eye on her anyway. Mm, more women, more trouble. You already fantasizing. <sighs> Even the sight of young women make me tired. Anyway, most people say she's the rat's lover too. But next to Natasha, I doubt he'd want her. Anyway, the pussycat would have already torn her to shreds. Could be. Okay. That is that line of questioning, and well, frankly, I think that's it for the Czar Bar, or the Czar Club, I should say. And frankly, I think that's it for today. Now, the only problem I'm going to have here is the game has like a weird autosave thing, and I'm not sure where it autosaves. Um, I feel like I'm going to have to like redo all this next time I play, like this portion I just did right now. And then continue to the next area. There's no like save save feature. Um, actually, let me double check that. There's continue and then there's load game. So there's that. Um, unless I got an idea. So that's the weekend house. Can I go anywhere else? Oh, wait a minute. I can go back to the Clawville PD. And the hop dog again? Odd. Well, 
Because notice how, like, the Golden City and other places, like, I can't go to yet because they're blocked off. Not part of not part of the story just yet. Yeah, let me just go to a new area. Ooh, a nice cup of coffee a la Zip, huh? We're not here for the coffee, Marty. Zip always knows more than what he lets on. It'd be worth interrogating the old trash panda. If he forgave us for wrecking his joint last time. He'll never forgive us, Marty, but we helped him out of trouble so many times, he's not gonna have any choice. I hope you're right, old bird. All right. I'm pretty sure the game now saved because I saw the little symbol on the top left there. So now next time I play the game, uh, we'll be right here. And then I don't think anything new is going to come out of this per se, like looking at these items or looking at the surroundings or even talking to Fly Guy. Um, but we'll see. I mean, this is a limited time thing, so I figured I'd, I'd give it a try. And afterwards, we can go back to Clawville. See what information is there, or Club LPD. Uh, but yeah, okay. I think that's gonna do it for me today. That was, uh, that was a lot of fun. I really, really am enjoying this game. Like, I'm very intrigued with the story so far. I don't think it's, it's like what, like it's as uh, cliche as other these noir games could be or stores could be and like of course i love the aesthetic um we'll see how things go uh i'm not sure yet sydney i may stream tomorrow yeah it might be a little bit later though uh maybe like around 3 or 3 30 my time but even if i do i might switch back to the wizard and the slug i'm going between that game and this game so um so if I do stream tomorrow for a little bit, I think it's going to be Wizard and Slug. And then after that, I'll go back to Chicken Police, and I'll go back and forth until the games are done. Um, because if I look at, if I take a look at the stats, I mean, there's still a lot to do, don't get me wrong. Like, there's five more questioning we're going to do still. You know, oddly enough, there's so many scenes left, even though the places I'm going to go to don't seem to be a lot left but maybe like they're talking about like within those places I don't know so there's that uh, various achievements codex entries I'm uh, more than halfway there personal information there's quite a bit left there more gallery entries left so I, I still say we got a little while to go but I'm going to enjoy it, and I hope you guys do, too. 